Hello and welcome to Elite Dangerous with uh, Craig DB. I'm just going to go into a bit of a combat, uh, just a normal uh, mining combat today, uh, as I have done before. This one's a pretty heavy duty one though. Uh, I think it's something to do with the fact that it's a pristine uh, belt. Uh, but that's not the main reason why I'm going in there today and you'll see very shortly as I uh, start the game. We'll just go in and um, give it a moment. Okay, here we are. I'm oh, back in a Viper for a bit uh, more combat. Just debates with a friend of mine uh, decided to go back to the Viper for a better combat. I believe it is actually a better combat vessel than the Cobra. Just saving a bit of cash towards something a bit bigger. Maybe uh, tossing up between the Clipper and the Fertilance. But uh, those who might have just noticed that there's a little bit of movement going on there. And this is what I wanted to, sh uh, to show off, so to speak, is that I have enabled a uh, track head tracking device. So you can now see that I can look around quite comfortably inside the vehicle. Uh, I'm just moving my head around at the moment just to do that. Now, uh, before, we, uh, before I go into any further detail, I'll just launch and we will look at uh, heading out. You can see I can look straight up and got a bit more freedom with the, the feel of the game. It is so much more immersive when uh, you use this kind of system. Just being able to look around like that, you just really feel like you're much more in the combat situation. Ship released. Engines engaged. So I'll just uh, head out now. You can see there's quite a few uh, players around in the area today. We'll see what we've got here. I might uh, do a flip around in a second to see who's in the area. Not to say that I know any of these people, it's just a case of, hey, let's just see what players are around. Who we got? Commander Ryu M. Oh, there's a Ferdinand. Bod the Mad. Who's Friendship this last guy? Detected. There's a Vulture, Commander Omba. I don't really know. I've never actually seen any of these guys before. No big drama. Just thought, uh, any time I see a commander, I don't mind just sort of featuring them, so to speak. Just highlight them, say hello. Not so much, I'm not going to chat with them in game right now, I've got things to do. But hey, if they happen to see the video, well, hi guys, I saw you. Anyway, uh, one of the things with the tracking system, you can just look down on the side there. You don't actually have to press buttons to select what you're wanting to uh, bring up. So I can just bring that up, look back. Uh, not that it makes that much difference, but hey, it's a bit bit handier. I can go over here too and so forth. One of the interesting things you'll notice, and we may see it when we go over to this location, is in the reputation bar here. This is something I haven't really had much chance to go into detail with. But uh, if we look at the reputation, you'll notice one thing here. There's a crime syndicate in the area called the Araxi Syndicate. You'll see that because I've spent a bit of time bounty hunting here, I've been taking out a lot of their uh, henchmen, so to speak. I'm now considered hostile with them. Quite often, I will run into uh, people from the Erexi Syndicate, uh, NPC pilots, and they will simply uh, flag instantly as hostile to me. I do have to be careful with that as such, because uh, if they're hostile and they attack me, I sometimes turn around and just return fire without actually verifying that they are a wanted. I mean, they are always wanted, but as you know, if you don't get the scan complete to say they're wanted, you get flagged as wanted. So anyway, we're going to head towards the uh, extraction site here. We'll just wait till we get out of mass lock so we can... There we go. Enter super cruise mode. And, um, yeah, it might seem a bit so, so what, the heaps of people have, uh, track IR, um, a lot of people have the, uh, Oculus Rift, and stuff like that, and yeah, it's quite a, quite a common thing, and I can see why a lot of people have it, because it just, I mean, you just see here even, I can just look up, and as I'm approaching, I can get, I just get a much more feel for what's going on. Um, but the important thing here is that uh, I didn't spend hundreds of dollars on a track IR like a lot of people might have. 
I simply had an old webcam kicking around and I bought online some LEDs and resistors and stuff using this software called FreeTrack. I've been able to set up a homemade system and I just wanted to show this to show a lot of people you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to have this beautiful immersive feeling inside the game. Uh, I, yeah, I don't even really have much electronic skill myself. I've, I've, I've dabbled with a soldering iron a little bit. All the instructions are there to be able to help you with this thing. Um, excuse me while I drop into the uh, extraction site. Here we are. You'll see a lot of people, a lot of player, um, a lot of ships will suddenly appear very soon. This is a very busy area. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I basically I had an old webcam kicking around that I didn't use anymore. Um, it is a bit of probably in its day it was a bit more expensive than the average, but I believe even just the cheapest of webcams will do the job. Um, there's all the instructions on how to put together the devices. You can see a bit of hostility going on over in the corner there. We'll go check that out, see what's going on. And I'll show a bit of the combat uh, facility of using this device in a moment. But uh, yeah, didn't need much skill in as far as I did. There's instructions there. I got some LEDs and wired it. I actually put it to a coat hanger of all things. Uh, with a bit of resistors and stuff, it basically gives you all the instructions how to do it. I'm by no means an electrician or electronics guru or anything like that. There's a lot of activity going on here. Like I said, there's a lot of hostility. There is a player in the area. I think these are always there. Yeah, that's a guy I was uh, going uh, flying around with a bit before. He uh, has been flying around this area this morning quite a bit, cleaning up as well as... Um, as I have, we've been having a bit of a chat along the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, talking about this device, very easy to make, and as you can see, it's just like I'm just flying around and I can just look around at what's going on. And in a sec, once I get into combat, you'll actually see some of the uh, some of the features it gives. Now, the other thing it's allowed me to do is play around a bit more with the uh, flight assist mode. And I've been finding that clicking that on and off has really been helping with tracking uh, ships as well. Being able to fly around a bit better. I, my understanding is when you turn flight assist off, allows you to turn without actually facing the direction that your ship is moving. When your flight assist is on, you basically locked into the direction that your ship is facing. And so it, it, the, the turning is a little bit slower. You may have seen in cutscenes where someone's flying along and he suddenly turns around and he's flying backwards. He just fl faces the guy who's chasing him. I believe flight assist assists with that. But uh, we'll have a bit of a play around. Let's just uh, find someone we can shoot. Yep, that guy's good. Let's deploy. Power plant capacity exceeded. And uh, as you can see already, I'm just kind of looking with my head as I chase him, and then I just wind the ship up. One guy down. Oh, there's another player in a Fertilands. That's going to make things really interesting, because when there's other players around, even when you've got NPCs, if you get a shot in, you pretty much get the bounty. But when there's other players attacking the same guy, who do we got? We've got uh, Dark Side of Oz. Does that mean he's an Australian as well? Ooh, that could be interesting. Um, but yeah, when there's other players also attacking the same source... Okay, someone's uh, wanting some something off me. What's this guy here? Oh, this guy's going to be a good target. So, uh, I will lock on his drive. That seems to be the good first choice. A lot of people go on the power plant, but... Oh, now, I said before that I'm wanted by the um, Araxi Syndicate, you can see that there's guys here have suddenly come in on me. Actually, they're from the... Oh, they're the wingmen. So this case was a bit different. These guys are all in a wing together. So it has actually... Uh, they've all uh, banded together against me. Let's see if I can locate some of these guys. Under attack. Flight assist on. Guy will do. Scan detected. 
flight assist. So you can see flight there, I'm assist. using the flight assist just to lock them, to pick up my uh, movement speed, flight assist. and just lock on the guys a bit quicker. Flight assist. Also wanted. Under attack. Target shields offline. Flight assist off. I never said I was good at using the flight assist, as you can flight see, it's still taking off. a bit of practice to get the hang of it. Flight assist off. But you can see there by flight looking assist. up I can find the guy, lock around onto him. I do feel that it has improved the game, my gameplay somewhat. Of course, you do have to look down to look at your uh, scanner sometimes if you lose complete track of them. I'm not doing so good right now. Got a couple of hostiles there looking at me. These guys are still part of the wing group, I think, that uh, that clipper was on. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Okay, he's down. Target destroyed. Target shields offline. That's the other players are going in on after him as well. I think that is. I think that's Chevelle Target going Shield after him. Online. No, that's that uh, Fertilance. Flight assist off. Target shields offline. I think he just went down. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Target destroyed. Flight assist off. That's the Fertilance guy. So that's giving you a bit of an idea of some of the uh, the combat factor using the flight assist to, to help turn a bit. I'm not using a good example of it, but that's the basic theory of it, is that uh, when you need to turn, use the flight assist, or here, what have we got here? They're going hard on someone, that's another clipper. So that could be the same clipper. No, he's part of Jet State, so that is a different guy. But uh, we'll go in after him as well. He's wanted. Chances are it looked like there's some, one of the other players. Yeah, one of the other players was attacking that, so I didn't get any bounty. Like I said, whoever gets the the first uh, the, the, the kill shot between the players, he gets the bounty. Or it might be a case of whoever gets the most amount of hits. I'm not entirely sure on that. Here we got another clipper. Let's give him a go. While I'm attacking this guy, I'll just uh, make a note here that uh, I've never, I've not actually done any real life uh, camera videos or anything like that. But uh, let us know if you're interested in. Uh, there are instructions and so to speak how to make these tracking devices. But uh, if I get a bit of interest in uh, how to make it, I might see what I can do about putting some videos together to. Um, to actually illustrate the process and, and, and spell it out and I'll have some links to where I bought the, uh, the devices that I used um, that's except for the webcam again you see I got a few hits on him but someone else got the kill I missed out on that one again I find that uh, as I don't know if it's me just being a winger but uh, I find that being in Australia, I think I have a higher latency, so it's hard for me to get as much, uh, for me to get the kills in. It might simply be that these guys are in much bigger ships, and so they're able to uh, actually uh, do more damage more quickly, so they get the, the ratio simply because of the uh, higher amount of damage that they've caused that might simply be work along that line. So if anyone knows anything about that, I'd certainly welcome some comments. Almost ran into that asteroid going for this Annie. So, uh, yeah, I'll um, take out this Annie here and uh, I think I'll sign off from here while I'm taking this guy out. Let's uh, get some more shields going for a sec.
Oh, I've got another guy on my tail as well. So that will make it interesting. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to know more about how to make the tracking device, because it's really easy, really cheap, let me know if you want more info on how to make a really cheap tracking device, because seriously, since I started using this, I would probably struggle to use play the game without it. Thank you for watching. Let us know if you want uh, more info on the track IR or the IRDB as I'm calling my version. And uh, I will, uh, if you if you like it, I'll make a video and I'll see you then. Until then, thanks for watching.